you guys are in for a treat today. Rusty coming at you with a knife unboxing. Gotta love that, right? Look at how Rusty's gonna unbox this knife. Oh, can't wait to see what's inside. I think we're gonna do this one first. Um, so, this knife was a gift to me for being in a wedding. It's a groomsman's gift, right? Uh, this is an old business card box that I use to carry around uh, different things over the years, magazines and ammo or who knows what. Uh, this is the Buck um, 503. If I can get in there, 503, and then this little upside down mark right there gives it the age. And I want to say that this was a 1997 this knife was made. Uh, and it is known as, i cover up, they engraved it a little bit, uh, the prints. Okay, so we have some nice, these are, I'm going to call them nickel bolster. It's a lock back. We got some uh, redwood here. And we got this drop point, kind of a blade. Uh, let me double see. One of the things, oh, this is a hollow grind on here. So I'll go ahead and show you these guys. This is my friend uh, when they got married. Oh, good idea, guys. Engrave a knife for your friends on what year they got married so you can always remember how long it's been. And, you know, there's not a whole lot to show off on a, a buck knife. We've all seen them before. And it is very nice. Of course, it's made in the uh, USA. And there's your lock back. Push that. Uh, you guys, I know how the boom, and she closes. All right, we'll still hide. And I don't get this one out very much. It just stays in storage. Interesting thing about that. This has spent more time in storage, and I mean storage unit, and it's 420 steel. I almost have to imagine, although it's not stamped. Uh, but 420 steel has 13% chrome. And D2 steel, so I'm going to talk about this. I don't see a speck of rust on this, being exposed to, obviously, some temperature changes. Um, no speck of rust on here. And no chrome, or excuse me, you know, no, no rust. At... 13% chrome if it's 420HC. And I've been complaining about D2, but I'm not having my D2 rust. And D2 is a semi stainless because it's less than 12, 12% or less. So maybe D2 is not that bad after all. That's the point I wanted to make. So because there's not a whole lot to go over on this knife, uh, you can still get these today for about 60 bucks. So let's take a peek. It's all factory on this. Uh, let's see. Oh man, my camera is really not. So it looks nice. I better do a sharpness test for you. That grind looks nice there. Seriously, guys, this is the factory edge. So, what are we looking at? Some of our more common rescue animals. Well, I don't know this one. Is that a chicken with some floss? I can see why they bring, I get it. Uh, they bring a milk cow in the, with cereal. Uh, I don't Oh, is that termite with pencil? Snake with keys. Help me out, guys. <laughs> Rhinoceros with pizza. Pepperoni. I'm not sure. I don't quite get it. Some of our more common rescue animals. Floss. Chicken. I don't know. I see 
why a milk, why a cow would deliver cereal. All right, you can use the milk to eat the cereal. All right, how are we doing? Yeah, not bad. Ah, feels good, feels good. Uh, somewhere, I got a peanut. Oh, it's too sharp to even. Uh, there we go. How are we doing here? All right. She passes. Very good. Thank you, Buck. Nice job. So, that's why you pay 60 bucks for a little knife like this. Okay, moving on. Barlow. This is another lockback Rusty has. Lockback knife Barlow. What's this one all about? Well, Rusty bought this one probably, I definitely before 1997. Uh, this is about Stephen Barlow. So I'll kind of go through it real quick. We hope you enjoy the rare beauty of a Barlow design. Barlow design. Uh, Incorporated Barlow Design. So Barlow, I think, is an actually the name of a knife. It's got it's, Barlow's kind of weird. Barlow refers to a knife design. In this case, it refers to a knife company. And the Barlow Company, I believe, made knives in the United States. So help me out, guys. As well as at different times. I think they made knives in China. And then, uh, oh, there we go. And then, like this particular one was made, it says Barlow in Taiwan. So I do not know the steel on this Barlow. It's a stainless steel. Uh, taking a peek how did they do on the edge your bolsters and I'm not that kind of a guy if they call this scrimitar scrimmagey anyway it looks like it's supposed to be white bone and again so when I bought this knife when I came across this I bought one for my dad and one for my brother. And I think my dad got, you know, some elk. And I'm not sure my brother might have got some deer or something. I kind of got them uh, for hunting type knives. So, kind of a comparison. We'll put this. How do these ones compare? Okay, so... There's your buck for about 60 bucks with 420 made in America. Here's your Barlow, and I don't know, probably back in the day, guys, I paid uh, probably 15 to 20 bucks. I couldn't afford a whole much more for myself or for gifts for my brother and or dad. So let's assume about a $20 knife back in something like 87 to 93, if I had to guess. But we're going to go ahead and give her a um, cut test. So, wow. That actually feels pretty good. And this is factory. I don't think I've cut a thing with this one. Uh, probably not even with that buck. So, yeah. Well, very happy. They did, you know, they did things right back in the day, didn't they? Uh, and that was a defective nut there. So, give me a little bit of grief. All right, guys. I can't remember what else I was going to tell you about these knives. But if you know anything about Barlow or the Buck Prince, please, please chime in. Thanks now. Bye.